Who knew that seven years ago, this sophomore who slid into my IG comments at UM would ultimately become my husband? The love I have for you, I genuinely don't have the words to articulate it. That's how I know that this has been orchestrated by God himself. It has been said that a loving spouse is the, a lifelong compliment from God. One of life's greatest moments in uniting these two devoted, beautiful hearts. Dion Javon Bush, Namina Jade Smith in the Enduring Bonds Christian Marriage. You two are entering into a relationship with many privileges and responsibilities. The man you love beyond this moment is about to become your husband. He tells the world not only of his willingness, but of his infinite desire to turn away from all others and to you alone for all of life ahead. With everything we've endured up until this point, I wouldn't change a thing because it's made us who we are. It's the reason we stand here today. So quick story time. Amina's mom, Debbie, used to work overnights with my uncle. So Amina would spend the night at my house often. But this one specific time, I bit Amina. Let's just say that was the last time Amina spent the night. I can hear Debbie now like, uh-uh, you are not going back. Yvette can't control her child. But here we are 26 years later. Thank you for still being my best friend after I bit you. The first time I met with him, you know, it was Thanksgiving time. I try to spend Thanksgiving in Chicago. So you know me, I stayed seven days. My sister wanted to see how he was acting because Brooklyn would have came out a whole seven days. But Dion was cool. He was so calm and everything. I said, Dad, what's up with this dude, man? I couldn't shake him. I couldn't, you know, I'm all in the mix, you know, sitting down over here, just chilling out. Dion was too quiet. I said, yeah, seven years later, he's still the same way. In our first interaction, I already knew deep down in my spirit that we will be standing here today. And even though I feel like it was God's purpose, us being here took a bunch of obstacles that we had to conquer. I want to thank you for being by my side through the highest points of my life, but most importantly, picking me up and crying with me through the lowest points of my life. And through these various times, I promise to hold you down and comfort you when you're down. And I promise to be your biggest fan and celebrate you through your highest moments. When a couple enters into matrimony, they take a vow and exchange rings as a sign of the covenant between them. The ring is a circle symbolizing an unending commitment to life. The rings are usually adorned with precious stones, traditionally diamonds. Diamonds, of course, are mined from deep beneath the surface of the earth. As you search and reach for truth beyond complacency, I pray that you find an eternal reservoir of love to sustain your marriage.
don't know. Oh, we're good, man. I didn't even know I had the camera on. Yeah, man. For the fallen soldiers. You know, all the family here. The brothers, man. Minus one. Rest in peace, J Boogie. We're going to do our thing today, man. Mark chapter 10 verse 9 says, What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Now, having pledged your love for and loyalty to each other, and having sealed the pledge with marriage rings, I, Reverend Jonathan Wilkins, do by the authority vested in me as a minister the church of the living god in conformity with the laws of the state of florida pronounce you husband and wife to you both newlyweds i wish you endless love and happiness may your love grow stronger in every passing year i love you both and congratulations are in order to the bushes dion it is customary for every groom to salute his bride with a kiss. Brother, you may kiss your bride. I'm gonna start off with a story. I was there when he met her, you know what I'm saying? We was um, walking on campus. I'm, who that, boy? So Dion, who? I'm like, right there, he. Oh, nah, nah, boy, hello, chill, I got this, okay. <laughs> I walk in the dorm, I see Amina sitting down in the chair, you know what I'm saying? I'm, okay, cool, okay, I see her again. <laughs> so now we on campus, you know, you know, we, we got the same routine. Every day we do the same thing. Go to the fountain, everybody kick it. We gonna chill, we gonna go to class. Dion ain't at the fountain, really. I'm, damn, where Dion at? You know, this my dog, like. But Dion in the cut with Amina, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, hey, you like her? Like, boy, you like her, boy. But I, I would tell you, the final scrawl that did it. Probably me and two was together, you know what I'm saying? And he like, I'm finna go down south. I'm like, all right, cool, you finna go to this mom out. So me and they, we walking, I think we are going to get some food. So we going to get some food, and I see Dion car in a parking lot. So I'm like, he just said he was going down south. And I know this Amina parking lot right here, you know what I'm saying? I say, boy, she done got my dog. <laughs> <It's over here. laughs> He's a good dude, and I'm, I'm so glad that they're together. This union, the Bush, the Gittins, the Yards, you know. Celebrate! 